We are back again, finally. We've had a crap load of rain, like day after day after day, and we got a break for a couple of hours today. Um, so we're going to take advantage of that, go get us some trees, because I need some lumber, and we're going to make ourselves some lumber. So stay tuned. So we have plenty to, to use right now. We are kind of race against time. Uh, yeah, it's gonna rain real soon. So. <laughs> we got a bunch of logs cut up and we are ready to skid them. And you see the one far over there. Paul's going to get our little skidder set up that he built, of course he built. <laughs> and uh, I'll bring that to you in just a minute. All right, let me introduce you to the Wood Skidder 3000. What gave you the idea for this? Is he on? Get an empty? Yeah, you can, uh, you can buy one commercially. Hey, 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 how about not doing that while you're trying to talk? A yeah. heavy duty one like this is like $2,000. What? I got about 350 in it. Yes. And that is why he makes stuff himself. You hear that? $2,000 for one of those. 300 in the materials he's got in this. So. I think the wheels and stuff came from Surplus Center. Most of it came from Surplus Center. And then the steel came from the semi-local steel shop. So, pretty neat. One down and uh, 12 to go. Well, we managed to get 
a pile of lumber you see here uh logs i should say it ain't lumber yet <laughs> we got us all up anyway we've been dodging rain all day like move a couple logs start raining yeah, it's been it's been hectic uh, but we got it there and we're fixing to get this thing fired up and going and get my porch lumber made so
we're back and the sun's shining it's a good day uh, we already sawed up a couple of logs this morning uh, go ahead and try to run the rest of the life off the blade before we get into our big stuff over here because uh, I do not want a blade going bad right in the middle of a cut and ruining my log because uh, it's hell trying to get the blade back out of the log if you know what I'm talking about <laughs> if it takes a dive and you can't finish cutting that's bad juju <laughs> so but we're ready to go and uh, let's get started As you can tell, we ran into a problem. We had to push the carriage. Uh, apparently something went out in the controls and it won't drive forward. We'll go, go backwards, of course, the direction we don't need, but uh, yeah, we gotta figure it out. You just couldn't wait on me, could you? I said wait till I started filming. <laughs> you just go ahead and go. Wide open. What do you think it is? Hey, Pop, mm -hmm. what do you think is wrong? It's either a broken wire or the uh, control for the, the potentiometer for the speed control is bad. Ah, yeah, the numbers were flickering up and, up and down. Yes, not getting a good connection. Not getting a good okay. connection. Well, hopefully it's a loose wire and not the actual pot itself. Let me see. So you made this bracket right here just to hold the panel while you're working on it? Yeah. I, yeah, I guess that's a good idea. Uh, Let's see the guts in this thing. Does it look obviously loose? <laughs> I'm trying to film around your head. Oh, I'm, sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm like moving the camera everywhere, man. <laughs> hmm. We believe this right here is bad. No pot. You turn, increase the speed, reduce the speed. 
Hopefully that's what it is and it's not in the control board. Because if it's in the control board, it might be an issue. Although I'm pretty sure Dad's got it too because that's just the kind of guy he is. <laughs> Why buy one when you can buy two? I want to see. I want to see. I'm going to have to undo them wires. By undo, you mean unsolder? <clears throat> You didn't think you put a connector in, did you? You hear the cow? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it don't sound happy. What you making? A diagram? Yes, yeah, so I don't forget where the lit wires go. <laughs> I don't know how my memory is lately. Yeah? We have fire. Easy, Jim. Well, that works. All right, we're gonna test everything that we just pulled out. Got a power supply here, 24 volts. Control board we just took out. We do have a backup over here. New pot, yep. which is short for a potentiometer, in case anybody didn't know that, which I'm sure most people know that. Uh, that's basically a speed controller for a motor. We have a spare motor here. Let's give a demonstration. See our motor moving. We have a power supply. Awesome. Okay, you can quit playing. <laughs> Look at our explosion. Yeah, that's gonna make a wire of this. Here's me working here. I believe we're going to have to cut the video where it is right now. The sawmills broke down. Uh, you see in the video that we just tested some stuff and couldn't get it to work. Or actually, it was working. Couldn't get it to do what it was doing out there on the sawmill, which was not working. So, story of our lives. You know, it's kind of like the car. You take your car in because it needs to be fixed, but then the mechanic can't figure out what's going on because it won't do what it's doing whenever you're driving it. Same thing with the sawmill. Just bugs we got to work out. Um, we did push it by hand, you can see, and uh, I actually kind of like doing that. Um, I push it faster than the motor drives it, so <laughs> I don't think it gets fed fast enough. <laughs> I wanted to shove, that, shove the blade through as fast as I can, you know. I don't know. Get, not get excited, just, you know, get it done kind of thing. So, but, yep, that's where we're at. Here's a look at our lumber so far. One by us, two by sixes. Four by sixes, four by fours, and right there in that stack, and see where my finger is, two by fours. Won't use all of it, uh, just the way the logs came out, there was just, obviously you wanna use everything you can whenever you're cutting. Um, always cut every piece you can, try to save as much material as you can, because eventually you're gonna need something and you'll be glad that you cut it up when you did, so. But thanks for watching, uh, if you guys would, please subscribe. If you liked it, subscribe. If you don't like it, that's cool. Give me a thumbs down too. Uh, total so far, we're at nine thumbs down. Out of all my videos, I've only got nine thumbs down. So that's pretty good, I think. So, well, continue watching. Thanks again. Y'all have a good one.